You know, you have to start to remember that everything that you perceive is coming from your thoughts. Nobody's turning. There aren't anybody, there's not a world out to get you or people turning you, people giving you the cold shoulder. Think of all those country songs about the cold shoulder and, and giving up on me and abandoning me and leaving me and rejecting me and on and on and on. All those songs, everything that's perceived is, is a reflection of the mind. It's like a self-fulfilling prophecy, small self, ego-fulfilling prophecy, but there's no change in what the divine law is, that you will look upon that what you feel within. If you have hatred, fear, lack, concern, doubt in your mind, you will perceive those emotions acted out in the world. And if you identify with a character on the screen, you will identify with all the character's emotions, thinking that they're your own emotions. But actually these are all just generated from the ego. So this is why Jesus will say in the Course, beware of the temptation to perceive yourself unfairly treated. You notice how he takes that unfairly treated, which is part of all victimization, and he puts the word temptation right next to that. He's basically saying, beware of the temptation to perceive yourself as a victim. Because if you perceive yourself as a victim, it means you believe you are, or you believe it's possible to be a victim, then you believe that the world and the characters of the world are capable of acting that out. It's like a dream where you believe in victimization and then the dream acts out the belief. And the only way to escape from it is to see it as just a belief, to see that these are just thoughts. And that's really what the spiritual journey is. It's calling you to give up that belief. The belief that you have ever been victimized. The belief that anybody in this entire world has ever been victimized. 